Hi, and welcome to Unprecedented Journey. I'm your host, Jeff Oppenheim, and I thank you for joining me today. Well, if you've tuned into our episodes before, you know that this is a channel that is here as a resource, a guide for using this time of quarantine as a productive time, a time to realign, to reconnect mind, body, and spirit. And our last episode, in fact, was an interview with a venerable monk out of the Shi Lai Temple in California. Venerable Huai Dong joined us virtually in the studio to not only give us an overview on meditation, but also take us through a guided DIY meditation. And in fact, the DIY meditation is an incredible experience and I encourage you to use it as a tool to either introduce you to meditation and bring you through a meditation, but also as a tool that you can go back to, listen to again and again to guide you through your practice until you can do it on your own. Now, another thing that you know is part of my format is I always like to bring you another added value resource video after the initial episode. So in keeping with that tradition, I want to introduce you to several new resources, a few books that I found that I really like. The first one is this book, Meditation and Wisdom. Now it's written by a venerable monk from the same temple, the Shilai Temple in California, and they sent this to me. I'm about halfway through it. It's an incredible read. You're going to want to do it with a pen and pencil or a highlighter in hand to take notes throughout. Not a cover to cover read, but really a workbook of sorts mind-opening, definitely, and very much worth the read, especially in these times, and especially with a commitment to understanding, not just practicing, meditation. There's another book that you may have noticed was sitting on my desk throughout the entire interview, and that's because it's a very important book to me and sort of a reference point to me, complementary of meditation. The book I'm talking about is The Great Tao. It's written by Dr. Stephen T. Chang, and it's an incredible book, again, a reference book. Now, this gets into the lifestyle practices of the Taoist philosophies. The Great Tao goes into the various pillars of a Taoist lifestyle, and that is everything from diet and nutrition for optimum health, as well as exercise and external self-massage, for optimum health as well. There's even a whole pillar of Taoist life that talks about sex. So I encourage you to get the book, keep it on your bookshelf, read it, use it as a reference guide for alternative thought, for alternative thinking, alternative healing, a great life guide. There's another book too that I like and I draw from periodically. And just a little book of whimsy, and that's this. It's a Buddha reader. It's just a small book. I keep it right next to my Buddha, in fact. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll go to it before a meditation, immediately after a meditation, or sometimes even in lieu of a meditation, just to draw focus. And I'll pull a short passage. They have subject matters such as love here, uh, sorrow, something probably we're all experiencing right now, and even one on, let's see, body and mind. And again, short little passages, something to reflect on, and just reference to set your ease, set your mind to working towards something, especially during this time. Check this book out. In lieu of getting the book itself, I also would recommend something by Lao Tzu. You can probably go online and discover many of Lao Tzu's great quotes. And in fact, I'm gonna reference one of them right now. Lao Tzu said, we can only keep what we can give away. And to that, I want to talk about something else that the temple had sent me, which was a big box of these masks. Now, I could only use so many of them myself. I ended up keeping one for myself, gave two to my mother, and then kept two to have on hand in case I ran into someone that didn't have a mask and needed it. Maybe one of the homeless in the neighborhood, but someone who might need it more than I would. And what I did with the rest of the box is I gave it to a friend of mine who's the head of emergency, the ER, at Brooklyn Hospital. Because I know not only does the nursing staff and doctor staff need it, but so do the workers within the hospitals. Everybody from those that are cleaning the hospitals to those who are moving patients around. So I was able to practice a little bit of what we talked about in care and compassion outward into the community by a gift that they gave to me. And I was able to do the same for others. So I want to encourage you to do the same as well. And I'll leave you with one last resource. The youth program at the temple in California recorded a song. They wrote it, they produced the video, 
I want to play that for you now. You heard it in the background at the end of some of the other videos, but I want you to hear the whole song now. So stay tuned for that. And until the next time, I'm Jeff Oppenheim for Unprecedented Journey. Please stay safe, stay well, and let's continue to think of how we can be compassionate, not just with the ones that are around us that we love, but outward to one another, to each other, throughout COVID and the pandemic, and well beyond. side